Hey y'all, it's Clinicia. Let's get cozy. Today's topic is it's okay to be different in today's society. So let me jump right into today's message. So a little disclosure about me. I have been celibate for 11 months this month. Woohoo! Yay to me. But I've received a lot of backlash for it. Now, be being celibate, it has been very good. Um, I am more clear when it comes to my thoughts and when it comes to just my heart. But um, when it comes to me trying to date, my dating life is non-existent. And it's okay. But anyways, um, I have a lot of people tell me, well, you have two children. Both of your children have two different fathers. And um, both of your children were born out of what lot? True. They are. They have been. They were. Um, it, my oldest child's father, um, we never married, but he is married now. And with my second child's father, we actually married after I had a baby. Biggest mistake of my life. We are now divorced, and now he's remarried. Um, people get it twisted. People think that just because you've lived a wrong life all of your life or majority of your life, that it doesn't give you any leeway to decide to live God's way or live a life of right. I don't understand, me personally, I don't understand why people think that it's okay for them to place their mouths on how other people should live their life. Worry about what's going on in your own life, and I'll worry about what's going on in my life. Um, have I did things out of order? Absolutely. But am I planning on doing things in order this next go around? Absolutely. Why? Because that's my choice. First off, let me not even take all the credit. God called me to be celibate. I listened, and that's just that. Um, just because you've lived a life of wrong doesn't mean that you have to continue. Your wrongness doesn't have to be your present, and it doesn't have to be your future. Sometimes we do things our way because we want it. We want it quick, and we want it right away. But sometimes, you know, it's also okay for us to just wait and wait for God's promises and wait to see what God has for us. Because sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, what God has for us is better than what we go out and attempt to get ourselves. So I just want to let you know that it's okay to be different. It's okay to step outside the box. And it's okay not to try to fit in with society's norm. You don't have to give yourself away. Um, if you choose to do so, that is absolutely your choice. So, um, I just want to let you know that it's okay to live wrong and to eventually live right. I haven't lived a right life or a God's life in 30 years. And at year 31, well, actually prior to year 31, that's when I decided to just try it God's way. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we can definitely interact with each other. Um, I'm not going to debate because I respect everybody's um, opinion. And that's it. So... If I don't um, comment back, just know that I'm going to eventually get to it. But like I said, I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm not going to debate. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. That's it, y'all. Be easy.